It is day two of the David Watson trial, a man accused of killing his ex-wife Linda, mother-in-law Marilyn, and her friend. Today, we got some major testimony from the second wife, who was also his alibi for Linda's murder, took the stand, taking back her statements. Nine on your sides, Priscilla Casper is live outside the courthouse with her reasons for waiting so long to say what really happened. Yeah, you'll all remember this stems from the disappearance of Linda Watson nearly two decades ago. Three years after that, her mother murdered David Watson under suspicion, but saved from an alibi um, from Rosemary, his uh, second wife. Today, we learned the changes in that story, which led to David being charged. David Watson's second wife, Rosemary, took the stand today, retracting David's alibi under oath. Originally, Rosemary kept David out of jail by saying he was with her the entire night. But in 2007, after they divorced, she went to detectives saying he went out for a walk instead the night of Linda's disappearance. Linda's mother, Marilyn Cox, was killed three years later after Rosemary says the couple fought with her over custody of David's daughter. Why did you decide to come forward and tell the police what you knew? Um, I had a lot of internal conflicts prior to the actual um, calling. I mean, it's something that I had fought with uh, guilt and shame <coughs> and confusion and fear. Later in the testimony, Rosemary recounted a day when David was distant with her and she threatened to take him to court. And he took off his sunglasses and he kind of leaned in and he said, Don't worry. And I said, Don't worry. And he said, that was the only, and that was that. And for some reason, at that moment, I don't know why it was that moment. Um, it just chilled me to the bone and everything, everything just came flooding back. And I knew that I could not hold this in any longer because three women lost their lives and their lives matter. New at six, I'll have more details in the case and what Rosemary uh, Watson says happened that night of Linda's disappearance. Reporting live at Pima County Superior Courthouse, Priscilla Casper, Kega 9, on your side.